Hi everyone, we are back in Starfield. Let's see here, which file is it? There it is. So, oh my gosh. So yesterday, guys, I started exploring and I got, you know, I got to the point where, okay, I was finished exploring random barren planets or what have you. So I took on a random, you know, you have different categories of missions, right? Like uh, main, faction, and miscellaneous. Well, there's a miscellaneous, I'm not gonna highlight it for no spoilers. Mantis at the very bottom. Mantis, Mantis, Mantis. Just a random, you know, side quest. I keep saying mission. Random side quest. Oh my God, just, just do it. If you have it, if you have that side quest pop up, that little miscellaneous nothing side quest, no, 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 do it. You will not be sorry. Incredible. So, and I can't believe, I can't believe the content in this. I mean, you know, people are saying the faction quests can last, you know, I mean, some of them are 20 hours long and um, there is so much content. I am so happy. It's, that's what I love about single player games. Like, there's just so much content, you know, and if they do it right, like BG3 or you know starfield um you know it's it's incredible so this is aquila city in the cheyenne system and i was you know i saw um i saw you know gameplay of this or or, or whatever showcase of this city and i thought who cares it looks like some kind of you know any old sort of you know shabby you know kind of outpost looking colony um and no, when you actually get into it, I don't know if this YouTube video will convey, but like the buildings are like rustic wood, right? Like you got this weathered wood and then chrome, chrome and weathered wood. It is such a cool combination. It's it's really cool. But um, but we're not here for Aquila City. That's for you to explore. I'm not going to spoil that. Um, so what we're going to do today, guys, is uh, head out. You know, I was thinking about exploring other areas on this planet but we'll take a look we'll see here we might just check out something else in the system hey buddy you know i just hired um people to come aboard my spaceship you know um you know whatever you call them um i don't know employees or however i don't know specialists there you go that's a little bit better and uh it's so cool to walk around your ship and have everybody calling you captain and and see everybody doing their duties and stuff. Oh my gosh, it's the immersion is just it's so wonderful. This is why I play games like this. Hey, hey girl. Got a bunch of uh, really sweet girls on my ship. But here uh, on this ship, you I have uh, you know weapons racks and um, racks for my uh, jet packs and all kinds of stuff kind of like this ship I mean I need to like this ship because it's a specialized ship it's 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 pretty cool I won't go into it kind of a little bit spoilery but uh because I got this I got this ship on it in a side quest I don't know if you knew this or not but you can sit in any sh chair on your sh on your ship you don't need a bed you can sit down and then wait and if you face the camera just right you can actually see the uh you know the sun uh the orbits you know and see the day night cycle happening outside guys there is planetary there is there is solar or well not solar there's planetary and lunar rotations in this there's tidal locking in this there is there is interesting orbital mechanics interesting and i just saw where some uh content creators they went out and they out in space and just started flying toward a planet even though it was going to take hours in the solar system and you can do it but they were they were surprised because they left for a few hours and came back and all of a sudden they were facing a planet but the planet was gone and they had to um, adjust their course and they realized that it's because of the orbital mechanics the planet actually moved out of their um, trajectory because uh, because of the orbits so pretty cool we're gonna go here look it's like an identical like a mini clone what is it called Kodos? Kodos? We're gonna go to Kodos. It's so pretty. Who that? Somebody trying to talk to us? Do you copy, ship? Oh, we're ignoring you. I don't want to talk to you. I, we're explorers. 
<laughs> Did you hear that? Maybe I should just try a different system. That's right. Get lost. We're busy. Okay, so... Savannah? Maybe we should... Swamp? Let's try Swamp. I noticed that the definition in Starfield of Swamp is uh, a little different than what I would consider. But once you get out and start walking, you hear the sloshing under your feet, so it is in fact Swamp or Wetlands, but... Mm, I don't know. This location's not grabbing me. Little flat. It's not bad, but we can do better. Let's take a look at another location on the planet. Mm, okay. Have a look here. See if it grabs us. Setting down. We just. Everything in the green. We're just looking to be inspired. I don't know. It's really Pepto-Bismol fog. And and I love fog, but not today. Where are we going to... Let's see. What is this? Savannah. Let's check out this location. We're just trying to find something that grabs us. Inspires us so we can head out into the unknown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going here. <laughs> we kind of cleared some of the fog. And, uh, ooh, we, we even got a... Oh, yes. Okay. We'll check out how the gravity is. By the way, gravity, weather, and everything it varies on all these worlds. Yeah, you stay here, Vasco. You get on my nerves. Where's that? Where are they? There they are. No. Such a cute little spaceship. You just go land, and if you're bad, we'll kill you later. We're not here to fight. We're here to explore. So, see what kind of uh, plant life and what kind of flora and fauna we have going on here. And you know what I, I discovered, guys, is when I kept talking about geological structures, there are actually, there are actually like highlights on a lot of these worlds that are geological structures. You head toward them, and they're called. Um, uh, I don't know what it's called. N natural something? I don't know. Na um, I forget what it's called. But you can highlight them and scan them and uh, head out to it. And it's it's a it's actually a highlighted geological structure on on a lot of these worlds. So um, in addition to finding your own little, you know, random, um, you know, random sites to see sightseeing, there, there's actually, you know, intended interesting geological. I'm talking about geological, but I mean, there's other stuff to see, but, but see here, look at this, the, the, see, okay, every planet has its own gravity, weather, it's, it's, its own star for the system, right, and it also has its own orbital speeds, like, look at this, this is actually pretty fast, like, I don't know if, if you do, if you saw my video from the other day when this, we saw the, the, we were orbiting a gas giant, and the, um, and the gas giant was was moving, you know, around the sun, and we're watching the light from the sun um, slowly shadow on the on the gas giant. That took a while. This this is moving fast. We're gonna uh, we're gonna see this planet set on the horizon here. Gosh, I love this game. I love this game so much. I mean, this is what I wanted, man. This is what I wanted. You know, you have a rich. I don't even want to go into all the. We already know. We already know. Starfield's awesome. Look, we got that moon out there we got that oh we're the moon aren't we <laughs> we got a smaller moon out there and then we have a uh, Aquila was the planet called Aquila we got Aquila out there look at these trees they're so cool looking something's screaming you know every time I see this toxic gas or these vents I just walk through them like a fool and uh yeah there was this one planet, guys. Oh my gosh. I had about five. Like the the rain was acidic. The atmosphere was poisonous. The the there was five different toxin toxins in the environment that would just it was just slaughtering me. And I didn't care because the planet was so cool. I just wanted to keep going. Look at these guys. Oh, they're attacking. I'll turn off my I'll turn down my HUD here in a second. 
I'm, I can't wait for a dynamic HUD mod. Mm, you just go into settings and um, HUD opacity and turn it all the way down if you don't want a HUD. There we go. Man, they're vicious. What are they killing? Oh no, they're being killed. What the hell? What is that? Something small was killing them. I don't want to go over here. They look so cool. Oh, what? Look, look, something just jumped. That little thing. Oh my gosh, that little thing must be wicked. <gasps> What's the fire from? Where's the fire from? Get lost, dude. What are you? How dare he? Oh, he's killing me. Oh, he's tough. Oh, I need a gun. Wow, this guy's tough. He just whooped like four of those. Five? Jeez, okay. Man, don't mess with the crickets on this planet. He whooped five of those things, or four of them, and then he was going to kill me. Hunting, what did it say? I didn't notice. So cool. I mean, just to have this massive open, open world um, space RPG with great graphics. It, it's a dream. I can't say enough. Look at this, guys. Just look. <sighs> so great. By the way, don't get annoyed with me. I I suck with buttons. There's so many different, you know, things you got to push. I'm using a gamepad, and even with that, sometimes I'll push the wrong, wrong thing. So just, you know, we're just chilling. We're just, you know, we're just exploring together and but if I do annoy you, sorry. I just, I, I tend to push the wrong buttons a lot. Get lost! Listen. Cricket from hell. We just want to explore. We don't need your crap. Can you come up here? Loser. Oh. Oh, these look really cool. Please be peaceful. Are you peaceful? I don't want to die. Look how cool, oh my gosh. Guys, holy crap, look at this. Man, this looks nice. Oh, but it's gonna be dark. Every time I end up exploring in the dark, that's okay. We're gonna do some exploring in the dark, guys. gosh. Oh, I don't understand the fire. I don't understand the fire. I gotta... I mean, they're hitting me and then there's fire. Why? I don't know if that's... Hmm, that's interesting. I, I don't know. Maybe leave a... That's gonna bother me. Leave a, leave a comment if you know why that's happening. I don't know if it's environmental. I don't know if it's like a chemical reaction with them. I don't know if it's their defenses as an organism. Like, or if, you know, it's a bug. <laughs> Don't know. You guys are peaceful. Can I... I would pet you, but I don't want to pet your internal organs that are on the outside of your body. Yeah. They're so pretty. I gotta take me a drink of my Topo Chico sparkling mineral water. We got some alien palm trees going on. I need to be scanning stuff. What am I doing? I've been wanting a little campfire. Oh, oh, I forgot. 
<laughs> I forgot it's not okay. That is that is a that's not my campfire. That's a toxic vent. There you go. We're scanning now, man. We are we are just investigating the fauna here. The floor wait. I get yeah. The flora. What are these? You know, I noticed a lot of these planets, like you'll land on them and, and you'll be like, oh great. Um, it's flat, you know? There'll be some, you know, rocks and trees and stuff and it's flat. And you're like, great, okay, it's all going to look like this. Sometimes you can hit five or five of them in a, in a row, but don't forget, you can land on anywhere on the planet. So the geology and topography it can change. It might not always change because maybe you're just on a desert planet, period, you know, but, but it can change. But guess what else changes? The biomes. They're on the poles. Sometimes they'll be frozen mountains. And then there could be savanna, swamp, wetlands, desert. You know? I mean, we finally have multiple biomes. I can't, go. I can't believe that there's orbital mechanics. I can't believe there's day-night cycle. I can't believe there's dynamic weather. I can't believe that there's gravity. I can't believe that there's... Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff. I feel so bad for people that hate this game so much they they just hate bethesda in general or they hate they hate you know they just hate starfield so they're not going to play i can't imagine a lover of space games not playing this that they are so missing out they are so missing out and i feel bad for them well sucks to be them put your head out of your butt and play a good game stop complaining what do we got over here guys we're going to go to those mountains we're gonna push, we're gonna push it. Can we go to those mountains? Is it too far away? Can we go? We shall find out. These look like little, little crater looking things. I found um I lost my cutter and so I was scanning things who that who's coming oh listen to this just listen I mean they nailed it by the way the audio in this they nailed it I mean there's a ton of nuanced audio effects in this that are so wonderful Anyways, uh, if you see something like a cutter, like the, the cutter you use to mine, um, and then I found something called like a an arc welder or something um, that you can equip, and at first I was like, okay, why? Why would I need this? But if you pay attention in the environments, in some of the um, outposts and stuff, there are sealed doors that you can use that cutter to cut through. That's so cool. Let's watch him leave. Anyway, so you can get into some inaccessible doors. There's a lot of environmental um, destructibility too that I didn't even realize. I was fighting. Uh, I was fighting my way through some of these. I was in this facility fighting some of these pirates and or whatever the heck they are, spacers, all kinds of different bad guys. But um, and there was these huge like tanks, red tanks everywhere, like in, in the facility. And um, man. Yeah, I didn't realize I could shoot those and blow the heck out of everything. So, it gave me the upper hand, upper hand in combat after I realized that. Of course, I died several times shooting them because I didn't realize the explosions were huge. Were these huge gas tanks. And it was underground too. Little claustro... Are you kidding me? What is this? like a little oasis it's like a no it's a it's like yeah it's like a little crater lake
Too bad it's nighttime. That's okay. Look, there's a moon. Look at this. See how fast that's rotating? I guess this is um, carcasses. What, is it? what do you call multiple carcasses? Carkai? Looks like we got multiple car. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking this water is toxic. Look at all the dead. Look at all the the little dinosaur carcai. <laughs> that's, that's not a word. That's not a word, is it? Carcai. <laughs> oh man. You know, I find it. I find that I laugh at my jokes more than other people. Like, it, you know, um, if I'm talking to friends or something and I make a joke. Usually, usually, no one laughs, except for me. I laugh at my own stupidity. So you can't, you cannot swim in Starfield. See? Nope, you can't swim. We're not swimming. You can't dive, but hey, you know, at least we can swim. Look at that. Got a nice little valley down there. I wonder if we can go there too. I mean, we just went all the way to these mountains. There's some... There's some non karkai dinosaurs down there. Let's see if there's anything over here. I don't know why there would be. Yeah, this must be toxic or something. We swam through it without getting um, poisoned or anything, so I don't know. It sure killed them. Naughty Karkai. <laughs> you guys, stay. Stay. Stay here, Naughty Karkai. <laughs> See? I was just laughing. and uh, Oh my gosh, I'm not even funny. Okay, let's check this out, guys. Oh, this is just... Oof, it's so cool, man. I mean, it'd be cooler in the daytime. Also, if you stay at a place long enough and it has, um, you know, weather, I mean, you'll see the weather change. In one of, the, in one of my prior videos, I was on the beach. Because, yes, there's actually beach with the ocean at the beach. And I made a, a little, um, you know, outpost what I call an outpost. It's just, it's just literally like a, you know, just a, a habitat with a airlock. And, um, and as I was sitting there building, a, a couple of days passed and then the fog rolled in and rain and weather came in. I've seen uh, thunderstorms on planets with lightning. Um, I haven't seen a lot of weather. I want to see more weather. Um, but really cool. Well, I mean, I mean, we made it, guys. I mean, look, we're pretty much in that valley now. And that's what I mean. You can explore. Don't worry. Don't worry about all this border drama. I was, I mean, this boundary drama. You know, you're just not going to, you're not going to, not to mention modders are already working on totally making the planet seamless. Um, I was, I was, uh, I was reading that it looks like it could be possible. So... For anyone that worried about it, I imagine in the, uh, in the next month we'll have seamless planets. Maybe not. We'll see. But it but it's a non-issue. It just is a non-issue. Matter of fact, after this video, I'm probably not even going to mention it anymore. I like the green. It's really green water. Man, I'd like to see it during the daytime. I think I could make like a sleeping bag and then pass time that way when you're out in the... I just don't have... um. I don't have any resources right now, so. But I think you could just throw down a sleeping bag and pass time. This is so cool. Just little ponds everywhere. Toxic, possibly toxic ponds that create karkai. 
<sighs> we're gonna, dude, we're gonna swim it. We're gonna, you know what? We're gonna try a couple things here. I wanna see how close to the water you can get with your um, jetpack. Or if you can even jetpack in the water. This is a pretty nice sized lake. Let's swim it. We must. We are explorers. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a nice little lighting effect when you get close to the water. Let's see, in the water. Let's see. Okay, yeah. You can just boost out of the water. If you're wondering, yes, I completely like um, leveled up my my booster pack, my little backpack. So that's why I'm able to boost as much as I do. Well, here we are. Look, we. I mean, we went to the mountains and went to the mountains then we saw the valley we went to the valley then we saw the lake we crossed the lake and now we're to the other mountains and right, to the other hills with our peaceful little dinosaurs with their guts inside their exoskeletons <laughs> oh look there's a little it's a beetle we love you come to us do not be frightened. Although you do look tasty. Probably tastes like crab. Lobster. Guys. This is just so incredible. This is just one planet. You saw all the landing zones, right? This is just one planet. You know? And and, and on a planet with this, with all the all the varied biomes, um, you know, all, all the variables. If you get bored, if you still manage to get bored, of course, then you just hit up the miscellaneous uh, side quests. You know, the miscellaneous, the main quests, the faction quests. I mean, even the miscellaneous quests can be so deep. Like I say, if you have, if you, if you have that uh, mantis mission, try it out. It, 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 it's challenging, guys. Okay, it's challenging, but. Oh wow, it was just really cool. And it's just a miscellaneous side mission. So cool. Starfield. Can't believe it's finally here. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time.